Hi, this is Kathy from Stamps and Scrapbooks.com, and today I want to talk to you about resiliency. I was on my way down to visit my daughter, and I was passing through Jersey looking at the New York skyline from the Jersey side. And many people from up here have a hard time looking at the New York skyline after 9 11. It's painful for a lot of us. And I happened to see the Freedom Tower, and it made me think about that day and the resiliency of the people was just staggering. I mean, I know that people say that New York is a rude. I, I personally just think that they're always in a hurry, born and raised there. Um, but that day and for the weeks and months afterwards, people were donating blood. It was just incredible. So I started to think about resiliency and what was important and what helps people to be resilient. And one of the things that I found was if you th view setbacks as temporary, and you have the optimism to know that, you know, well, if this is the best case scenario and the worst case scenario, what's the likely outcome of that? You'll be able to keep things in perspective and, you know, nothing is fatal. Um, part of that is human connection, and I've talked about that in my other videos and how important it is to have people around you that support you and are um, close to you. So some of the other things are accept that change is a natural part of life, um, shift your attention to the positive and move toward your goals and all of those things will help you be more resilient. So that's my tip for today. Have a good afternoon. This is Kathy from Stamps and Scrapbooks.com.